you'll probably get tired of me talking about the summer colony, but the summer colony is important for a number of reasons. Probably one of the most important is that the early summer colonists fell in love with the village and they loved what it looked like and they loved the old buildings, which meant that things did not develop in areas where there would be historic structures, but develop in the downtown area. And even in the downtown area where there were some historic buildings, summer colonists bought those historic buildings and moved them to other locations and preserved them. So there was this beautiful love about the beauties of East Hampton and, and the historicism of East Hampton. So Congress Hall, which is a sort of odd name for a private home, is an old house on Main Street, which was built mid 18th century in the 1750s. The woodwork on the second floor bedroom is almost identical to the woodwork in both uh, Home Sweet Home and also the new corner cupboard built in the 1750s in the Mulford Farmhouse. So it's pretty easy to date it to that period. Now, it wasn't always where it is today. And it is honestly not an amazing piece of, of architecture. It's a piece of vernacular architecture, means being quite simple without any fancy features of federal or Georgian or other styles. <clears throat> the inside was Georgian, but the outside was relatively simple uh, two-story building. And it originally was built down on the corner of Buell Lane and, and Town Street or Main Street. And when it was built, there was a little lane called Katrine's Lane, which was a, a cow path, a camel path, that went off to some of the pasture land um, that's, you know, beyond in, in, in the village and the sort of farming areas you see when you go off to Sag Harbor. In 1902, well, it's a little, a little before that, the village, about 20 years before that, the village decides that they want to enlarge Katrine Lane. They're gonna call it Buell Lane after Reverend Buell. And they're going to have to move Congress Hall, which was built by the Mulfords and on the Mulford property. They owned a lot of property in that area, both across the street and on the other side. So the family was not really too, too happy about that. Um, but they persevered, and in the end, what they did is they let them rip off half of the house so the house could still sit there, and the road would be virtually, you know, right up to the wall of the house. Not a good idea. So the Mulfords decided to move the house in around 1902. They moved it down the street to a lot that was vacant that still belonged to the Mulford family. Now, it was, during its early period, one of the very early boarding houses. And it's in fact Congress Hall, which is probably the first boarding house that Thomas and Mary Newman Moran stayed at when they first uh, came out in the 1880s, well really in the late 1870s, when they were invited out to see Montauk, and that's, you know, they fell in love with the area, and then, 1884, they build their own studio here. But Congress Hall gets its name in a sort of a funny way. The old bachelor, David Mulford, owned the house at the turn of the century and a little before, and a lot of the men would take their cattle out, uh, men and boys would take their cattle out to graze in the pasture lands where the estate section is now, uh, you know, in, on the way to Hook Pond. And on their way back, they would stop, they'd pasture their cattle in the grass, in the green, and they would then visit and probably have a, maybe a rum drink or who knows what they drank. But anyway, they'd visit, they'd talk politics, and the neighbors used to laugh about it, and they said, oh, you know, Mr. Mulford's hold, holding conferences, a Congress this afternoon, because the guys were the Congress of, of, the, of the area, and oftentimes they would be trustees, and, and, and later on they would be, you know, members of the village board, but then they would be probably trustees. So that's why it's called Congress Hall. It was amazingly restored some years ago to keep the exterior almost identical to what it looked like, even preserving a little Victorian 
L on the house or wing that would probably have been normally torn down. So the house now looks very much the way it would have looked um, when Thomas and Mary Nimmer Moran came out here to rent their first rooms in that instance, although they might have in fact rented the whole house uh, during that time because they would have been out here for a couple months. But So that's another story about the summer colony and we'll learn more stories if you stay tuned.